Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm showing you how to add tags to your footage so that you can better search, organize, and maintain your footage within Premiere Pro. Basically what I'm talking about is we're gonna be adding things to, or, or certain keywords to our footage, sort of like you know a search article online or a YouTube video where you add tags down there. It's so that you can perform a search and find certain pieces of footage. So for example, this first one, I might associate the tag of night or dolly shot. Maybe on the second one, it would be, you know, landscape. Um, maybe the river's important, daytime, stuff like that. And now if I do that to every single one of these pieces of footage, I could then type in day up here and it would bring up every single piece of footage that has a day shot in it or that is just in the daylight. And that would help me, you know, kind of find all of my day shots, especially if I had 200, 300 pieces of footage you know, over here. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. What we need to do to do this is we actually need to go into metadata display. What we're doing is we're gonna be adding a new metadata column. Metadata is just the information around the footage. So over here, frame rate is metadata. It isn't part of the footage. At no point does 23.976, you know, get displayed to us. What it does is it uh, provides the program and us an ability to see how many frames per second was this shot at. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go up here, we're going to click add property. We're going to name something, uh, you can name this whatever you want, I'm just going to name it as tags. And down here, our type, we want it to be a text. An integer is just a number, a whole number. Real number is just all a uh, decimal number. And then Boolean or text, uh, Boolean is yes or no. What we want is a text element so we can enter in our text. We're going to click OK. And then now we're going to search for that new one that we created tags right there and you see it has been created right here and it's checkmarked which means that this will now display all of them now understand that this is um sort of independent to this project right here so for example if i go over to editing the tags won't be displayed because they're not currently being displayed it's created so if i go up here and i click on this and i go metadata display I can search for tags and open it up in another workspace like so and then tags are now created over here but just understand that you know if you move from workspace to workspace it's going to change you're going to have to keep you know sort of removing it and if you'll notice over here this is a common problem is that sometimes the tags will start on the very right side if you want them to get them over to the left to sort of move them easier just hold click on the top they just move around just like anything else in premiere and just drag them over to the left so let's go jump back over here i believe we were in the graphics workspace yes we were so what we want to do is we want to now give these tags that are that are meaningful. They allow us to search. So let's double click on it so that we can see the footage. And I know this is like a night shot. Um, we'll go night, comma dolly, comma um, lights. And then now we just go down the list right here. And we add all of these tags in. So this one is a day shot, stationary, and um, maybe the bay. If we have a lot of bay shots, we can do stuff like that. This one is as well day stationary bay and then we'll do two more here this one is on the bus it's still daytime um, but it's a moving shot because it's on the bus uh, then we have another stationary uh, maybe like neighborhood and there's you know you can do anything you want to sort of move this around this one's also a day shot and so now once we have just these sort of you know, tags going, we go down and we add them to everything in the list. A lot of sort of upfront cost to this, you know, it takes a little while, but the results that you can get from it are incredible. Now watch when I go up here and I type in day, it brings up every one of them with the day in here, day, day, day over here that says day. Let's, let's look for our night shots, right? Like, so, um, let's go with our stationary shots, brings up the three stationary shots. Let's go with our moving shot brings up our one moving shot. So now we have the ability, you know, maybe if we want bus shots, now it brings up all of our bus shots. We now have the ability to sort of organize our footage in a way that we can now just search for, you know, human searchable terms like day or moving or water or something like that to bring up all of the metadata. And maybe you wanna, you know, sit down and plan this out before of what tags you're gonna be using to classify everything. So, you know, it's, it's organized, you're not just coming up with them on the spot because then you might, you know, you might name one day while you name the other one, you know, sunny day or something, you know, might mess up a little, but really, really powerful. And then one more key aspect of being able to do this. Now I can search up here for day, provides me four pieces of footage over here. But let's say though that I wanna further organize this. I don't have to search for day every single time I do this. So what I do is I go up here and I click this little button right here. It says, create new search bin from query. 
What that means is whatever the search bin, whatever I searched, all of this is now going to go into a bin. So I click on it, it automatically names it my search query, and now all of those were moved into the bin. So just like that, I've organized all of my pieces of footage inside of this bin right here. And you see all four of them go right inside here. Now let's, let's remove the search query here. And you can see, just like that, they've all been moved and they've all been organized so that I can just quickly click on them, drag them in, and they have this you know, organization to them. Again, a really, really neat sort of fun way to organize your footage. But that is basically it. All you gotta do is add some metadata. You can, you, know, you can really have fun with this. You can add anything that you want to this sort of stuff. There's a bunch of presets, but you can go wherever you want. All you gotta do is add properties. What we did was just add the tags property, add some tags in, search, and then we can create bins and store them just like so. That is it, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.